Well, it's day two of corn cracking, and I uh, we got another load in last night, and so this morning I came out and I cracked it and I packed it, and so we got four loads of uh, corn in the pit, and we're holding it holds seven. We're gonna put seven in there, and right now starting up the feed wagon tractor, and I'm gonna feed these cattle down over there. And then there should be another truck coming in really quickly. It shouldn't be too much longer. We'll be done with this pit. And then we'll move everything over here to the north farm. And we'll start cracking corn over there. Those are the cattle I just fed. It looks like one's out already. They're actually able to go out in about 50 acres of pasture, but since we've had a few frosts, the, the grass is starting to go dormant and they're running out of food. So we just fed them and we have this bunk line right up here. So it's pretty easy to get to them. Hi, there we go. Kind of stinks that I can only do a half load at a time because I gotta shut everything down and then pack it, move everything, then move the truck and start everything back up. It'd be nice if I could just run a whole truck through, but then this pile would be twice as big as that. It'd be pretty hard to uh, move around and get packed. like all four tires on this swingway are flat this one's even off the beat it makes it kind of hard rolling it in and out a lot of friction between the tires and the ground plus when i get out here it's kind of the mud right here i have some concrete these corn kernels you can see are actually pretty big you know they're almost as big as my front two teeth Hey mom. Here's your mom. Thanks. You betcha. Here's a hug. Love you. Love you too. Have fun. In Alaska, the left tackle T.J. Benton, 305 pounder from Spokane, Washington. Your center on Ewing, Missouri is Ryan Smith. It's a lot harder to eat without auto steer. Seventh load is all done. Got to move this pile. I'm not sure yet how full it's going to be, so there's potential that I'll call my dad and tell him to bring another truck over here and we might crack. One, eight, one more load and put eight in this pit. We've decided to put one more load in the pit, but here's some video from the drone of us combining.
all packed. I kind of crowned it in the middle a little bit so it can run off the sides. But now me and my brother are gonna drive over to the North Farm. He's got the 7530 and that's, that's connected to the, uh, the corn cracker as you know and I'm gonna take this tractor that has the uh, auger. So here we go. I'm noticing the wind switched and it's picked up quite a bit. The last two days it's been blowing from the south going north, which was nice because we had the corn cracker set up on the south side of the pit. And now just as we're going to be on the north side of the pit, the wind switched and that's a nice thing because it won't be blowing into all the tractors that are north that are north of the pit, so they won't be getting covered with dust and sucking all that in through with the fan into the radiator. Well, there was a cone extension on there when we left. Nice, right where I left it. We got stuff moved over here. We got the corn cracker set up, and so I'm gonna situate the auger. We have one problem, and it's that we, we got a steep decline, and then kind of mud down here, and not really any good spot to turn around and so it's gonna be difficult to maneuver and try not to get stuck I'm gonna put this in a situation where the truck doesn't have to drive in a muddy spot it's kind of a no-brainer but there's kind of mud everywhere and so that's gonna to be tough well so we moved it and then we put it over here. So now we gotta put the spout on. All right, we're, we're going. It's starting to cloud up towards the north. And on the radio they're saying we might get some snow tonight. So that would definitely put a damper on what we're trying to get done. Because we're... We ain't gonna get done with this pit today, that's for sure. We're starting at, I think it's about four or five o'clock. It's gonna be late into Sunday when we would get this done if it didn't rain. As of right now, the plan is that we're gonna leave this semi here and not move it. Right now, we're. We're, uh, we're emptying the back, we emptied the front first, but we're hoping that we don't have to move that. And we're combining this field right on the other side of these trees. You can kind of see some corn way down there. And so around this farm is where we're combining. We have the grain cart over here. And so we're hoping that we can just run the grain cart dump right into the semi and we won't have to move the semi. And it's a little bit extra running for the grain cart, but since it's so muddy down here and in the field, we can't really get semis in and out of here a bunch of times, so we're gonna just use the grain cart to move all the grain. lately we're not able to keep up with the corn coming in I'm not able to pack it and now it sounds like it's gonna rain tonight and it's not gonna be good for this stuff to get rained on obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna quit combining and we're gonna fill the truck with what we got and I'm gonna pack it good and we're gonna go over and we're gonna tarp what we got done today over at our main farm there that way if it does get rained on the tarp will hopefully keep the water off of it and it's really dark and we're just so busy it's like eight o'clock mom just brought us food again and uh yeah this is gonna have to be the end of the video because we're just there's too much going on right now but thank you guys for watching hit that subscribe button if you haven't see you later